Good morning, everyone. Welcome to AM Sports here. Yeah, I am Muftar Nabila Abdullahi. On Tuesday, media reports from Kumasi suggested that fans of Kumasi Asante Kodoko went to the club's training ground and stopped the technical team from training the boys after they had gone about uh, 10 matches uh, with eight defeats. So the supporters say technical team members should not be allowed to take charge of the team. This is from our sister stations in Kumasi, Love FM, and they are reporting that some section of Asante Kotoko fans, led by Ashanti Regional Circles Chairman Alex Menu, went to the Adako Jachi today to stop Coach Ogum from training the team. They want Coach Ogum to step aside for another person to lead the team technically. Coach Ogum was absent from the training on Tuesday based on an intel of a potential attack he had picked up. Uh, the uh, Interim Management Committee Chairman, um, Quantum, hmm, sorry, intervened and then calm was uh, restored by speaking with the supporters. Leadership of the club called off the training after the development affected the team's training schedule. So um, that is what is coming in from Kumasi. We do not have an update yet as what has transpired, but what uh, was suggested was that there were going to be a training session at the club's, um, the team's uh, house, that's a club house, to further deliberate on the technical direction of the team as well as how they were going to ensure that the team is back to winning ways. So uh, this is what is currently happening in Kumasi as Kumasi Asante Kotoko, um, yeah, their supporters went to the club's training ground to the, stop the technical team from training. As you, you, you saw from our sister station in Kumasi, the technical team had picked intel that um, there was going to be a likely attack on them, so they didn't go to the training grounds on Tuesday. During the 2023 African Games last month, one of the athletes that uh, flew high Ghana's flag was Abeku Jackson in the swimming. He won two medals in this competition, a silver and a bronze. Well, that success he chalked in the competition inspired other young swimmers who want to involve, get themselves involved in swimming. My colleague, Mubarak Haruna, has more in this special feature put together by George Sports. A golden moment for Abeku Jackson. At this year's African Games, he not only defies the odds, but also he shatters a long-standing jinx, emerging as the first Ghanaian swimmer to seize a medal at this prestigious event. It's a really impressive finish to the end. What is it going to be? Look at Abeku Jackson in lane five. Lane four is going strongly as well. That's Kalafala Ali of Egypt. He's going really strongly. In the end, it's Kalafala who's going to take it. Abeku and there it is. It's a silver medal for Ghana. 24 to 3 on the Ghanaians yet again. Abeku's stellar performance, clinching silver and bronze in the 50 and 100 meters butterfly events, not only captivated audiences, but also ignited a spark of inspiration. 12 year old Lord Mana Ashley is part of a swimming brotherhood that has been making waves in Ghana over the last few years. Their father is Sergeant Mana David. I'm very happy for Abeku Jackson and uh, he has done really well for the country, for himself, for the swimming fraternity and the family as well. We thank God for him. I know Abeku Jackson uh, from 2017. Uh, he trained here at the Birmingham Sports Complex and in fact from his demeanor 
you will see that Abeku Jackson is hungry for success. And I'm not surprised Abeku won his medals. And uh, this will inspire the young ones coming up. It will, it will inspire them a lot because it, uh, they will also uh, know that when we train like a big Jackson, we, we will hit at the top level of swimming. We will also win medals for our country. It all boils on training, discipline, and hard work. Abeku's success extends beyond the confines of local pools, throwing a spotlight upon Ghana on the global stage. Several places, different places, different competitions, different countries. I mean, he's, he's phenomenal. People hear Abeku and they're like, hey, that boy. You see, with swimming, you need, you need height. Even without the height, he's still doing exploits. Yeah, he's like still that. doing well, yes. He's still doing well. Yeah. So you can never tell what happens though, but he, he made us proud of the two that he won. With Ghanaian's gaze fixed upon him, Abeku stands on the brink of his ultimate test, the Olympic Games. A daunting challenge lies ahead as he strives to secure qualification for the pinnacle of athletic achievement, slated for August. For me, this is always a stepping stone. I mean, it's good to have competitions before the main Olympics. It's good to have African Games, World Championship. I recently just came back from World Championship. Before World Championship, I had a different competition. It's been back-to-back-to-back -back 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 competitions, and it's, it's the way forward. It's always to drop my time. It's always to get into the, my personal best, drop my time, move forward, qualify for the Olympics, and make my nation proud. The, step in, the, 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 the next step for me is to go back to training, see what went wrong, be it medal, two medals, three medals. There's always something. There's always room for improvement. So I'm going to go back, um, improve, work on everything I can, and give my best. He has the chances to qualify. He just has to push himself a little bit more. And I believe here in Ghana, nobody... nobody during these games, he had a qualifier, yeah. qualified, nobody. Yeah. And you'll be wondering why. I mean, we don't know why, but we are hoping that during his European uh, Championship tour, he might bring us a qualifier. As Abeko eyes global acclaim, his trailblazing success ignites the dreams of aspiring Ghanaian swimmers, proving that with determination and passion, barriers are meant to be broken. Haruna Mubarak for Joy Sports. Joy Sports, and I will do have more sports stories on myjoyonline.com. And when you go on myjoyonline.com, in about an hour, you'll be reading a story that has to do with um, the cars ruling that will be coming in after George Afri was disqualified from contesting the GFA presidential elections last year. We have details, and we'll be publishing that on myjoyonline shortly.